Hi, this is Travis with PLSGuys.com. Today we're going to take a look at DataLogic's Omnidirectional Presentation Scanner. Uh, they just released a brand new scanner. This is called the Cobalto. It's actually a laser presentation scanner. We haven't seen a new laser scanner uh, for presentation barcode scanning in quite a while. And this is the 800i Magellan. Uh, it's been out for a little while. It's a 1D and 2D barcode scanner. This is just a 1D barcode scanner. Uh, where you would use these is in similar situations. Um, you could use it for point of sale. You could use it uh, for attendance tracking if you're like a gym or a health club or something like that. Um, the Cobalto, being a laser scanner, being more sleek and stylish, it has kind of a better look on it. Uh, the 800i is pretty ordinary, it's kind of boxy looking, uh, but it's a very good scanner and it does do 2D barcodes as well. So if you're going to be scanning uh, QR codes off a cell phone, uh, that type of thing, then you're going to need a 2D barcode scanner, so you're going to have to go with uh, the omnidirectional imager. Uh, the laser scanner that's a little uh, more sexier has some advantages as well. Uh, for instance, it has a single line mode. So when you take the barcode scanner, it by default has a grid where it has several different lines. Uh, by press holding down your uh, finger on top of it, it switches to a single line mode so you have just one laser coming out. Uh, with that single laser, if you were scanning something like um, a cell phone box that has multiple barcodes all stacked together, uh, then you can be precise and you can scan just the barcode for the serial number or just the part number. Uh, with an omnidirectional imager, it doesn't have the ability. It has just a field of light so uh, anything in that field of light is what it's going to try and scan. Uh, so two different scanners with two different purposes. Uh, we're going to compare the scanning capabilities of both barcode scanners and you can determine for yourself whether you're in the market for more of a laser scanner with uh, some, some good cosmetics to it or um, you're looking for performance on something that's a little less cosmetically appealing uh, but very good functionally. I'm going to dim the lights here and I'm going to show you the different scan patterns here. The dominant red light that you're seeing here is the 800i. It's LEDs and it's imaging, so it works kind of like a flashlight. You see a big block of red light. Anywhere you put the barcode in the red light is where it's going to try and scan. If you look at the Cobalto, you'll see like a net pattern. Let's see if I get closer for you here. So you can see there's like a spider web. That's uh, the omnidirectional capabilities of it. If a barcode gets lined up within that grid, then that's what it's going to be able to scan. If I switch to single line, then it has just the single line for precision scanning. When you release it, it goes back into the grid. So two different aiming patterns. You have your bright imaging light versus your uh, web looking light. The bright red light is obviously brighter too, so take that into account for your uh, business. If you don't want a bright scanner, you want more just LEDs, then the Cobalto kind of has a, a cool look to it, and you'll see the, the blue ring of light a lot more than you'll see the scanning pattern, versus the Magellan, which you'll definitely see the field of light. With a presentation scanner, it's meant to be hands-free, where you take the product to the barcode scanner, it doesn't move. Both these barcode scanners are pivoting, so you can aim the head. The Cobalto moves about 30 degrees. It goes from flat to angles up. The Magellan goes down or up, so it has more range of motion for how you want to keep it pivoted. Generally, you're not going to move it. You're going to set it and then leave it in place. Uh, scanning wise, you're just going to pass through. You have to find the sweet spot of the scanner. Once you do, scanning is pretty easily. This is a UPC code, it's thermally printed. And that's the Cobalto. Uh, with an omnidirectional laser, to scan a little better, you kind of do a little twist thing. What you're trying to do is get the laser to align with the barcode. You also move front and back, change your depth of field, and twist it. Um, overall, it does a good job of presenting. Once you get used to any hands-free scanner, it becomes really easy. The 800i is slightly more forgiving. 
because it's an omnidirectional imager, you don't need to twist. You just present the barcode into the light and it scans. Again, you're going to want to play with your depth of field. There's a sweet spot that every scanner has. Once you find that sweet spot, it scans. Uh, I'm going to do a high speed simulation here. I have a drill, I have a barcode printed on it, as well as uh, another barcode there, and then the barcode that's on the can itself. In motion, you can see it scanning. And if I go to higher speeds, it's still able to pick up the barcodes at full speed. Uh, the presentation scanner, I'm moving, the low speed picks it up fine. It pick up the speed a little. And then this is full speed again. So the motion tolerance for the two scanners is going to be similar. You're going to be able to move barcodes through the field of reading and uh, it'll pick it up similarly. Uh, one problem that we've had with a laser scanner is on uh, glossy surfaces. So under our studio lights here, it's actually a little bright. This is a glossy card. We've had problems reading in this scenario. The imager doesn't have the same kind of problem as the laser scanner. So keep that in mind. Depending on what kind of barcodes you're gonna be scanning, you may need one barcode scanner versus the other. So this is the Cobalto and the Magellan 800i by Datalogic. Uh, both are good scanners. They're kind of that mid-price presentation scanner. Uh, the 800i has 2D scanning capability. It doesn't have quite the cosmetics of the Cobalto. Uh, the Cobalto is a little rounder. It has the blue ring. Um, it also has a power saving mode. When you don't use the scanner for a while, the blue ring shuts down um, and it saves some, some power on it to wake it up. Uh, you touch the button on the top and it wakes it up, the blue ring turns on and can scan again. The Cobalto also has a polyphonic speaker on it so that you can do custom scan tones. Um, if the default beep isn't quite to your liking or doesn't quite fit your business, you can change it up. Uh, if you're a gaming shop, you can use like a gaming sound. Uh, if you're a health club, you can use a sound appropriate to your type of business. Uh, you can also disable the sound altogether if your business is either really loud or it's uh, conversely really quiet where um, a beep would kind of uh, get in the way of the ambience of the business, uh, then you can turn off the speaker, turn it very, very quiet, and you're going to be looking for the green light, uh, both on the ring and on the top. It'll kind of flash that green so you know you got a good read uh, without having to listen for the speaker. For more information on presentation scanners, data logic, the Cobalto, or the Magellan 800i, please visit at POSGuys.com. Thank you.